yeah just what I thought no time like the present right and so I thought today would be a great day to do my first top 10 list I'm thinking I would like to do a list called eh, you can read you know what I'm talking about top 10 pet peeves so I figured I seen like 10 of my favorite youtubers doing this I wanted to do it basically so this is one of them and I hope you guys like it so let's just like roll right into it so my first pet peeve is when I tell somebody something that it irritates me or it upsets me and then they completely bypass that and do the thing that upsets or irritates me and so like it ties into one of my other pet peeves more or less um, say for instance I'm like don't whatever whatever you do don't clink your your spoon on the side of the cereal bowl don't do that because the ching 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 like that fucks with me for one two it's like you don't need to get every little last piece in the bowl to touch the milk and I know some people are really OCD and everything needs to touch the milk and at the same time like you don't have to go clink 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 to get it to happen that way stop and then you know they'd be like <laughs> oh that bothers you kink 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 oh god I've never just lost my shit faster number two interrupting me the entire conversation <laughs> you know who you are okay yes I think that's enough said I think everybody hates it when they get interrupted anytime that they're talking apparently the middle of my sentence is interrupting the beginning of yours and it's me up number three repeating yourself when I've heard the story about a thousand times um, and then you make me repeat myself because you didn't want to listen to me the first four times that I told you that's aggravating in every way shape and form because I think it honestly stems from my grandparents because you know with being old I understand you forget things you're not sure what story you told you don't know what you said in the last day you know you don't know if you said that 10 years ago I understand that like once in a while I was like, yeah yeah I heard that and I brought this situation up because I wanted you to to remember you know uh, and then they go off and then five minutes later tell you the story again and it's just like I know and then they get mad don't tell me you know yeah and it's just it's a it's, a, it's just it, it bugs me okay number four reminding me that my portrait does not look like the model that I drew it from I know okay guys you may or may not know me very well but for those of you who don't know me very well I'm an artist and I draw I do portraits I did not do those up here behind me I did this one down here and even then that's not a portrait that's a, a block print but say I'm doing a portrait of someone's face and they're like this you know it's not gonna look 110% if you look at it no doubt about it it's that person no, I always give the disclaimer before any of my artwork, like, look, I don't do realism. I do, I can do abstract, even though I'm not a fan, I'm much better at it. And I do landscapes and I do photography. If you want something exact, I'll take your picture, but I am not by any means going to shoot for photorealism in my drawing. It's just not my strong point. The closest I can get to that is pointillism or st um, stippling, which basically consists of a hundred thousand dots, basically like 72 hours of dots. Trust me, I know. But it irritates me more than anything for people to remind me like, it doesn't look like me. And it really like, it tugs at like a particular heartstring like right here and I don't know how to get past it. Number five, this one stems from my childhood and I know for sure. It's when people come into my room and pick up something, being like, oh, that's so cool. What is that, what? And then just sit it over here and then like walk out of my room and my room looks like a tornado went through because they wanted to touch everything. You might as well have gone through my all my bookshelves and just put your arm behind all the books and like threw them off of the damn bookshelf. Like the hell is wrong with you? And like I said, it stems from my childhood because that's what my cousins used to do. Number six, being condescending to me when you think that I am too young to have a particular experience. So this one, uh, is gonna count as a miniature story time. Uh, when I worked for Sam's Club way back in the day, you may or may not know, it's just like a supermarket, surplus store, whatever, but I was a taste and tips person. I'm the person in the back of the store who puts food in the little food samples and tells you about the product, you know, and this and that and one other thing. So 
I was working with a, another lovely lady at the time who was helping me when we were doing a, a store opening and I was telling her like man I get heat flashes really bad I'm hot as hell right now and I'm not gonna go into that info right now but I had some problems that I was going through and I was having a heat flash like really bad I was overheated and getting cranky and she's all like child you can't be having those kinds of experiences you know you're not old enough for that I'm having it right now like don't tell me that I can't have an experience just because I'm not your age and that's what you're experiencing it just aggravates me don't tell me that what I'm experiencing isn't right okay I'm not gonna go out of my way to lie to you number seven which I know I was guilty of doing this back in my younger years but I'm older now I know better and I don't do it anymore but number seven is making plans if I can count is making plans uh, with me and expecting me to come through which you know may be a given but then when I have a, something very important come up to me that I need you to be there for and you drop out or you find some kind of an excuse to dip out on that agreement and it's playing a lot more frequently now that like within the last six years or so just where it's like it's 11:30 at night I don't have a car I'm way out in the middle of nowhere or I'm at work and I'm stranded I need a ride home and nobody will give me a ride and I'm calling like six or eight different people and it's like four and a half hours before I can get a hold of anybody who will try and give me a ride. You, like I have so many people are like, don't worry, I'll be there for you whenever you need me to be. And then my parents are like, we are here to support you if you need us, call us. And I'm over here like 38 calls later guys I really need a ride and I like at the time I was really poor like year for years so I didn't have the money to just get a taxi I didn't have the money to do whatever I actually used to walk all over town from my house to the supermarket to Walmart to, uh, to the gas station to anywhere I needed to be I usually had to walk because I couldn't rely on anyone to get me around so yeah that pe that particular pet peeve bugs the out of me and it's even playing right now into my own wedding planning and anything else I have never had so many people dip when a good time is about to roll around and I'm just over here like number eight unnecessary sound effects and or white noise now I can understand like the humming of a fan or the humming of my computer stuff like that can actually be really calming you know when rain and stuff but sound effects like Again, clinking your spoon on the bowl when you don't have to, stomping your feet with the ball of your foot on hardwood floor when you, you can just do that and it wouldn't hurt you to do so. It just, it takes the littlest of effort to avoid doing that. Or, you know, constantly like slamming shit, like really loud noises mess with me for some reason. They get me panicky and I'm just like, don't do that. And even right now I'm over here like, semi hyperventilating to see like what the hell's wrong with me <laughs> number nine stop go stop go stop go so this one it's basically like putting a screw into my head and I hate it so much this mostly plays out when we are like driving somewhere like say going down the highway there and then the four corner whatever and you have to turn this way but then you just come to a screeching halt even though there's nobody there or maybe someone runs up and then stops and then you stop and you're <laughs> That bugs me. Or um, something a little bit more relevant to current day that I hate it is when someone walks in front of me deliberately. I hate it when people just, you know, like they see me walking here and then they have to like walk in front of me really fast and I have to jerk to a stop. It bugs me. It's like, just fucking go, you know what I mean? Just stop pausing and just go. You already had the intention to go to cut me off or to do whatever it is you're gonna do just can do it and but don't I can't even go into it too much because it, it's honestly getting me aggravated <sighs> number 10 finally we're gonna get to the last one then I'll probably call it quits for this video but scolding me for not wanting to do something that makes me insanely uncomfortable and then getting really defensive or really offensive or becoming really pissy because I called you out on your hypocrisy or something like that. So I particularly had some caretakers take care of my plants and they had warned me ahead of time like, we kill plants. It irked me for like a half a second because I specifically remember the same people 
some years ago telling me you can't give up you have to try you got to do this you have to do that and I know they were trying to they were in their best intentions to try to get me to do what I needed to do but at the same time in present day it's like here are some lovely house plants and they're over here like we're gonna kill it and I'm over here like treat them as if they were your family are you going to let your family go thirsty and they're all like no I'm like you have dogs are you going to let them get thirsty or hailed on or anything of the sort and they're like no and I'm like then there's no reason for you to kill the plants because the only way you can kill the plants is if you neglect them and they understood that I left I went to Mexico I came back for two weeks and what did I come home to all of my plants who had bulbs like 14 bulbs on the hibiscus plants for instance were ready to bloom and be, be very pretty and the only reason why it died is because they stuck it inside and it didn't get any sunlight for two weeks so it was just a more or less a bush of sticks and it looked like that and it didn't have any leaves on it it didn't have no hibiscus it didn't have anything on it <sighs> I've been back for about six or seven days now and finally the leaves are growing back because I left it outside and I water it once a day. I do the minimal effort to keep these plants alive. This, <laughs> this video is just me ranting about the things that pissed me off. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I was gonna do like a bonus round, but yeah, I just, I figured this uh, went too long. I only wanted to do like a 10 minute video today. So if you liked what you saw, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you want to see more of my top 10, top 20, top 100 lists, I'm going to be uploading another video tomorrow or possibly the day after. So I can't promise either one of those, but definitely one of those. Um, and yeah, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. If you like any of my stuff, I feel like at this point in time I'm only getting about 20 to 25 views per video when I first upload and then maybe a couple scraggling views. So if you could share this with your friends and comment and thumbs up so more people can see it, I would be oh so appreciative of that. I will talk about whatever you guys like. I'm going to be doing more story times, more top tens, more um, how to's and also, you're going to be getting to know Juan a lot more, and I've got a whole bunch of other things lined up and ready to go for this channel, so I really can't wait to see all of you here and interacting with me. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to the family. Come talk with me and we will have a conversation. I check all of my messages, you know, at this point now I'm barely getting any love, okay, because, you know, you gotta start somewhere. However, I would love to talk with you, and anyway... Hope you all are having a great day. Remember to stay positive. There's always a bright side to stuff. You can't give up just because pet peeves get to you. I'm just saying you gotta like spread them out in your life so you don't get overwhelmed by them. And who knows, maybe I'll do another uh, another part to this list because these were just the immediate 10 that I had written down in five minutes when I was getting ticked off in the car thinking about scenarios that'll probably never happen. If that's ever happened to you, hit the thumbs up button. All right, love you all guys. See you later. Bye.